Hey guys, what's up? This is Blaze the Movie Fan and it's time for another list video. This time I will be listing my top 15 favorite moments of Family Guy Season 14. Now remember in an earlier video when I said that season 14 of Family Guy is the most boring season so far and I find it very disappointing. Well I still stand by what I said in that video. If you haven't seen said video a link to it is in the video description below in case you're interested. But anyway, needless to say, even though I was hugely disappointed by the fourth season of Family Guy, there were still several great moments of that season, and now I'm finally gonna talk about it. I was originally gonna make this video earlier, but the reason I didn't is because I needed to get off my chest how disappointed I was with the fourth season of Family Guy. Also, there is one big rule for this list. There can only be one cut of a gag on this list. The reason for that is because if I included the cut of a gags, this list would be almost nothing but cut of a gags. So, anyway, without further ado, let's dive in. Number 15, Lois Griffin beating up Gratiot in the episode Take a letter. Now before I talk about the moment itself, I am going to talk about the events that lead up to that moment. So basically, Lois Griffin gets a job at the post office and while she's there, she notices a letter from 20 fucking years ago. It's basically a letter that Peter Griffin gave to an old girlfriend that he had. Now Gretchen is jealous of Peter for having Lois, so she tries to shoot Lois by the end of the episode, but she doesn't succeed. In fact, Lois fucking distracts her and then beats the fucking shit out of her. Hell yeah, that is so fucking awesome. The best part about it is, she knew how to deal with a gun person without having a gun on her own. And I gotta say, that is beyond fucking awesome. Yeah, the end of the episode is very fucking brutal and I like it. Number 14, Stewie's Robots from the episode Guy Robot. Now basically, Stewie built a robot so that robot can be his friend. But unfortunately, that robot is so fucking smart that it humiliates Stewie Griffin and builds even more fucking robots. Of course, even though those robots are being fucking assholes, they are still fucking awesome creation by Stewie Griffin. And that's why they are on this list. The best part about these robots is just how fucking smart they are. Number 13, the destruction of the robots in the episode Guy Robot. You know what's even more fucking awesome than the robots themselves is to see them being destroyed because they are dicks to an extreme degree. And you know what, Brian Griffin manages to oh, oh, kill them e and you know what? Brian Griffin manages to destroy them easily by using a fucking water horse. Fucking hell yeah, that is so fucking awesome. Number 12, Brian killing the nightmare monster in the episode, a lot going on upstairs. I am going to be entirely honest with you, I'm not a big fan of these episodes or side stories in this case that are about what Brian and Stewie are up to. I mean I do like Brian Griffin a lot and I do like Stewie to some degree even though I no longer think he's a great character. But yeah, those times when Brian and Stuart are time traveling and stuff like that doesn't interest me that much. Nevertheless, one of the moments that are about just that did make it on the list because it is one of the greatest moments of the season. And that's when Brian Griffin finally managed to beat the nightmare monster that Stewie Griffin had to deal with. 
Just to give you some context, basically Stuart Griffin can't sleep for fucking weeks. So he has to do something about the fucking monster that is in his nightmares. So he gets Brian Griffin to ooh, ooh, get into his dreams later on in the episode and kill that fucking monster. Yeah, that is the best moment of the episode, hands down. As for the episode overall, it is, in my opinion, meh. Not good, not bad, just meh. But that moment is still fucking fantastic, otherwise it wouldn't be on this list. Number 11, the match between Peter and his sister in the episode Peter's Sister. I'm gonna have to be honest with you, this episode overall is very fucking bad. In fact, it's one of the two episodes of the season that I really fucking hate. The other being an episode which I will be getting into later. But just because an episode is bad doesn't mean that there isn't a good aspect of it. And the best aspect of it is the fight between Peter and his sister. Since we are talking about the episode, I'm gonna give you the main reason why I fucking hate it. It's because Peter Griffin is being humiliated and embarrassed by his sister since his friends support her bullying on Peter. But anyway, yeah, I fucking love to see Peter Griffin fucking kick her ass because she really did deserve it. Number 10, Brian Griffin making Chris Griffin successful in the episode Peter Griffin and Brian. In the episode Peter Chris and Brian. The fact that Brian Griffin managed to make Chris Griffin so fucking successful is something I can give Brian Griffin huge applause for. Anyway, to give you guys context, basically, Peter Griffin is ashamed of what he has become, so he wants his son to turn out better, which is understandable. Now, Peter couldn't do a good job of that, as he's a fucking idiot, but as Brian is very fucking smart, he could have done that, and he really fucking did. So yeah, this moment is fucking awesome. Number 9, Carter Pewter Smith breaking Peter Griffin out of jail in the episode A Shot in the Dark. Now I'm gonna be honest with you, I fucking hate this episode with a passion. In fact, it is the worst episode of the season in my opinion. The main reason why I hate it is because of what Peter did in the beginning of it. Having said that, even though the episode is very bad, there is still a great moment of it. And that's when Carter Pewter Smith breaks Peter Griffin out of prison. It's highly illogical, doesn't make much sense, it is pretty stupid. But at the same time though, I am very fucking happy that Carter Pewter Smith, out of all people, broke Peter Griffin out of jail. Yeah, there's no logic behind it, but it's still very fucking cool, I must admit. Number 8. Using Brian Griffin to get around the alcohol laughs in the episode Underage Peter. There are only two episodes of the season why I would consider great, and this is one of them. In fact, I intend to do a review of that particular episode somewhere in the future. Anyway, to the point, basically, there is a law in this episode that states that if someone is under the age of 50, they can't drink alcohol. And what do you know, Peter Griffin is in his 40s. That is a fucking stupid law, and of course, Peter Griffin does everything in his power to get around it. And I gotta admit, the fact that he used Peter Griffin to do just that is very fucking smart. And of course, Brian doesn't like to be used for that, but it still makes sense and is fucking awesome. Number 7. Purposely losing at a cooking contest by the end of the episode. In the episode, pilling them softly. 
Now basically by the end of this episode, Peter Griffin feels bad about the fact that Quagmire is losing the cooking contest. So he eats all his fucking food to make sure that he doesn't win. I will give you context on what the episode overall is about in a later entry. But anyway, yeah, that is beyond fucking awesome and just goes to show how good of a friend Peter really is. Number 6. Peter Griffin convincing Mayor Adam West to change a bullshit love about drinking in the episode Underage Peter. How Peter Griffin managed to convince Mayor Adam West to change the lives beyond fucking awesome. Now he basically does it by making a fucking threat. And that threat is he should change the love to what it used to be that the drinking age is 20 something or else he will expose Mayor Adam West for doing some stupid shit. So yeah, the ending of the episode is fucking awesome. And again, I'm going to inform you that I will do a review of this particular episode somewhere in the future, maybe in 2017 or maybe before 2016 ends. Who knows? But I will review this fucking episode for sure. And I will do it before March of 2017. I promise you guys that. Number 5. Peter Griffin suggesting Quagmire to start his own restaurant in the episode Pilling Them Softly. Remember earlier on in the video when I said that I would give you context in a later entry? Well, now it's time to give you that context. So basically the plot of the episode is Peter Griffin tastes some of Quagmire's food and thinks that it's so fucking awesome and he suggests that he starts his own restaurant. And even though that doesn't exactly happen, he goes on a cooking show and what do you know? He's very fucking good at that cooking show. Now, of course, Peter Griffin somewhat ruins it, which is fine. He is stupid, so that is excusable. But the fact that he even suggested Quagmire to do something like that is so fucking awesome. Not only is this a fucking awesome moment, this also makes this a very fucking awesome episode. So the main plot centers around this fantastic moment. Having said that, there are a few moments that top this. Starting with number four, Peter Griffin being done with a metal detector in the episode The Peanut Butter Kid. Unfortunately, there are very few moments of this season where Peter Griffin is acting like a complete fucking idiot. And by a few moments, I mean there are less than five episodes of that season where Peter is acting dumb. Having said that, this is one of those moments, and I got to admit, it is one of the funniest ones. So basically, Peter Griffin gets a metal detector and uses it to fucking steal from others because he doesn't know exactly how it's supposed to fucking work. And I gotta say, that made me laugh a lot. There's nothing else I gotta say about that, so moving on. Number 3. Peter Griffin being stupid with his toothpick in the episode Hot Pocket Dial. Yeah, this is basically him getting a toothpick and not knowing what the hell it's supposed to be used for and just messes around with it. Peter being dumb never fails to make me laugh. And this is the prime example of that. I just wish there were more moments like that in this fucking season. Number 2. The cutaway gag with the alternative scene to Back to the Future. Now as you guys know, Back to the Future Part 2 is my favorite movie of all time. And I think the first one is fucking awesome as well. Having said that, I thought that this alternative scene was fucking awesome and also fucking spot on. It's extremely fucking funny and it makes sense. Having said that, I think a lot of the cutaway gags are fucking funny as well. 
But I only chose one for this list because like I said, if I would have chosen more than one, this list would be mostly cut away gags. Number one, the fact that Brian Griffin is not a cunt anymore in this season of Family Guy. There wasn't a single moment where Brian Griffin was being a cunt. Not one. You know what that proves? That proves that the writers of Family Guy have been listening to the criticism and did something about it. In fact, he was the total opposite of a cunt. He was a very nice dog and also proved to be very fucking helpful on many occasions. Fucking hell yeah, that's what I'm fucking talking about. You have reached the end of the video. Has Family Guy gone downhill? Absolutely. Do I want the show to end? Absolutely. Having said that, there are still some fun moments of season 14 of Family Guy. And there are also several moments that didn't make it on the list. If I included all of the cutaway gags that I like, there were originally 40 something choices, but after I removed all the cutaway gags, there were 20 something. So that goes to show that I still enjoy the show to a massive degree. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.